Blessed is our God, always now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, our God. Glory to you, heavenly King, comfort to the spirit of truth, everywhere present and filling all things, treasure, blessings, and giver of life. Come and dwell in us, cleanse us of every stain, and save our souls, O gracious one. Amen. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and always and forever and ever. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, be gracious to us in our sins. Master, forgive our transgressions. Holy One, consider our weaknesses and heal them for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and always and forever and ever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, save your people and bless your inheritance, granting victory to the faithful over adversaries and protecting your commonwealth by your cross. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lifted up on the cross by your free will, Christ God, grant mercies to the new commonwealth that bears your name. Gladden our faithful rulers by your power, giving them victory over their adversaries. May your alliance be for them a weapon of peace and invincible standard, now and always and forever and ever. Amen. Us when unfailing protection, do not spurn our supplications, gracious and all praise, Theotokos. Uphold the Orthodox Commonwealth, preserve those you have called to govern, and grant them victory from on high. For you, the only Blessed One, gave birth to God. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy, we pray to you. Hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, let us pray for all devout and Orthodox Christians. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our Archbishop and Father Savas and all our brothers and sisters in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For you are merciful and loving God, and to you we give glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. In the name of the Lord, Father, give the blessing. Glory to the Holy Holy, consubstantial, and life-giving, and undivided Trinity, always, now, and forever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, on earth, peace, good will to men. Glory to God in the highest, on earth, peace, good will to men. Glory to God in the highest, on earth, peace, good will to men. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall show forth your praise. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall show forth your praise. O Lord, why do so many taunt me? Many are those who rise up against me. Many who say to me, there is no salvation for him and his God. But you, O Lord, are a shield around me, my glory, the one who lifts up my head. I cried out to the Lord in a loud voice, and from his holy mountain he heard me. As for me, I lay down and slept, and then I awoke, for the Lord will be my help. I will not fear ten thousand people arrayed against me all around. Arise, O Lord, and save me, my God, for you have stricken all who hated me without cause. You have shattered the sinner's teeth. His deliverance is the Lord's upon your people be your blessing. As for me, I lay down and slept, and I woke for the Lord will be my help. O Lord, in your anger rebuke me not, chastise me not in your wrath. Your arrows have borne into me, and your hand weighs heavily upon me. Because of your wrath, there is no soundness in my flesh. There is no peace in my bones because of my sins. For my iniquities have overwhelmed me. They have weighed upon me like a heavy load. My sores have become stench and festering because of my folly. A stooping and exhausted wreck, I stumbled mourning all the day. My loins were burning with fever, for my life's a total mockery, and there's no soundness in my flesh. I was crushed and deeply afflicted. I roared with the groaning of my heart. O oh Lord, all my longing is known to you, and my groaning is no secret to you. My heart races, my strength has left me, and even the light of my eyes has failed me. My friends and companions approached and stood by, while my closest kinsmen kept their distance. And those who sought my life were egged on, while those who wished me ill spoke lies, plotting deception all the day. But I remained as a deaf man and heard them not, as a dumb man, and opened not my mouth, as a man who has not heard a thing, and thus has no retort upon his lips. In you, O Lord, I have placed my trust. You will give heed, O Lord my God. I said, O oh, that my foes cease to gloat over me, who bluster mightily when my feet stumbled. As for me, I am ready to be scourged. My pain is with me always. Indeed, I myself confess my guilt, and I will live in anguish because of my sin. But my enemies survive and overpower me, and those who hate me without cause are multiplied. Those who render evil for good oppose me when I sought but justice. O Lord God, forsake me not, stay not afar from me. Hasten to help me, O Lord of my salvation. In you, O Lord, I have placed my trust. You will give heed, O Lord my God. Hasten to help me, O Lord of my salvation. O God, my God, at dawn I rise to you. My soul has thirsted for you, and oh, how my flesh has hungered for you. 
like a desolate and trackless land that has no water, so did I come before you in your holy place to see the power and the glory that are yours. Since your love is better than life itself, my lips shall declare your praise. So shall I bless you as long as I live and lift up my hands and call upon your name. <clears throat> my soul shall be filled as with choices fair and joyful lips will praise your name. As I lay on my couch, I remembered you. I meditated on you throughout the early watches that you became for me the helping Fine. one, that in the shelter of your wings I will find delight. My soul clings to you and your right hand holds me up. But as for those who sought my life in vain, may they sink into the depths of the earth and be given over to the sword. The prey of the jackals they shall be, but the king shall rejoice in God and all who swear by him shall glory, for the mouth of the liars is stopped. I meditated on you throughout the early watches that you became for me the helping one, that in the shelter of your wings I will find a light. My soul clings to you and your right hand holds me up. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and always and forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and always and forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, God of my salvation, day and night I cried out before you. Let my prayer reach up to you. Lend your ear to my plea, O Lord. For my soul was filled with trouble and my life came close to Hades. I was reckoned with those who go down to the pit. I was like a man beyond help, left for dead. Like the slain left to lie in the grave, those you remember no more, for they are cut away from your hand. You have cast me down into the deepest abyss, into darkness, in the shadow of death. Your anger was a burden upon me. You poured your billows over me. You took my friends away from me. You made me loathe them to them. I was closed in and could not escape. My eyes grew dim with distress. I cried out to you, O Lord, all the day. I stretched out my hands to you. But will you work wonders for the dead, or can physicians raise them up to sing your praise? Does anyone sing your love in the grave, or your truthfulness in the midst of perdition? Are your marvels ever known in darkness, or your justice in the land of oblivion? And yet, O Lord, I cried out to you, and to my prayer shall rise at dawn. Why, O Lord, do you reject my prayer? Why do you hide your face away from me? I am wretched and troubled since my youth. I was raised high, then humbled and distressed. Your plagues have swept over me, and your terrors have left me shaken. They surround me like waters all the day. They close in upon me from all sides. You have distanced from me, friend and neighbor, and my acquaintance is so wretched am I. O Lord, God of my salvation, day and night I cried out before you. Let my prayer reach up to you, lend your ear to my request, O Lord. Bless the Lord, O my soul. May all that is in me bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all the gifts from him, who pardons all your sins and heals all your infirmities, who ransoms your life from corruption and crowns you with his love and mercies, who fills your longing with what is good and your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord performs deeds of kindness and vindication for all the oppressed. He has made known his ways to Moses and his will to Israel's children. The Lord is the one of compassion and mercy, long-suffering and manifold love. His contention is never, not forever, nor will his anger always last. He has not dealt with us as our sins demand, nor does he repay our evil deeds. For as high as the heavens stand over the earth, so far as the Lord extended his love for those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far as he removed our sins from us. As kind as a father is to his children, so is the Lord who, so is the Lord to those who fear him. For he himself knows well how we were formed, remembers we were only made of dust. A man his days resemble grass, as a flower of the field, so shall he bloom. But let a breeze pass over him, and he is gone, and never shall he know his place again. But the love of the Lord is from all eternity to all eternity for those who fear him. And his justice is upon the children of children, of those who keep his covenant and remember his laws to obey them. The Lord has established his throne in heaven. Over all things, his kingship is supreme. Bless the Lord, all you his angels, you strong and mighty ones, who obey his word on hearing the sound of his decree. Bless the Lord, all you his powers, his attendants, who obey his will. Bless the Lord, all you his works in every place of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Bless the Lord, O my soul, in every place of his dominion. O Lord, hear my prayer and your truthfulness. Give heed to my plea and your righteousness. Answer me. And enter not in a judgment with your servants, since all of the living none is just in your sight. The enemy has hunted me down. He has crushed my life into the ground. He has forced me to live in darkness like those long dead. My spirit faints with grief, and within me my heart is in despair. I recalled the days of old. I meditated on all your deeds. I pondered the works of your hands. I stretched out my hand to you like a parched land. My soul thirsts for you. Make haste to answer me, O Lord, my spirit has failed me. Turn not your face away from me, lest I be like those in the pit. Grant that I may hear your steadfast love at dawn, for I have placed my hope in you. O Lord, teach me the way I should go, for I have lifted up my soul to you. O Lord, deliver me from my enemies. It is to you that I have fled. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. May your good spirit lead me on a straight path. For the sake of your name, O Lord, you will keep me alive. And in your righteousness, you will deliver me from affliction. And in your loving kindness, you will destroy my enemies. 
and bring to naught all those who oppress me, for I am your servant. O Lord, hear my prayer and your truthfulness. Give heed to my plea and your righteousness answer me. May your good spirit lead me on a straight path. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and always and forever and ever. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to you, O God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to you, O God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to you, O God. Our hope, O Lord, glory to you. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For heavenly peace and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace in the whole world, for the stability of God's holy churches, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house and all who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our Archbishop and Father Sava, as the honorable priest with the deacons in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our country, the President, and all in public service, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the city and this parish, for every city and land, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For temperate weather, abundance of the goods of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for those who are sick or suffering or in captivity, and for their safekeeping, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That we may be spared all affliction, wrath, danger, and want, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, in your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For all glory, honor, and worship are your due, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Give thanks to the Lord and call upon his holy name. God is the Lord and he revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. All the nations surrounded me, but in the name of the Lord I defended myself against them. God is the Lord, and he revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. <speaking in Hebrew> Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. 
help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Holy Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend us. ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For yours is the dominion, and yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. 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 Του παρακλήτου ευθύς κατέβει επί γης ως περενίδη γλωσσών και αμαθητάς εφώτισε και τούτους ουρανομίστας ανέδειξε. Το φως επέστη του παρακλήτου και τον κόσμο εφώτισε. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. To the ages of ages, amen. Let us celebrate with joy this final post-festal feast. O believers, for it is the Feast of Pentecost today, and the fulfillment of the promise and the appointed time. For on this day the fire of the paraclete descended to the earth immediately as in the form of tongues and illumined the disciples and made them initiates of heaven. The holy light of the Holy Spirit has appeared and illumined the world. When the wellspring of grace of the divine spirit came down to those upon the earth and into fire beaming streams, parted noetically it refreshed the apostles and led them to the light the fire became for them a dewy cloud and rainy flame illuminating them. And we in turn through them receive divine grace. By means of fire and water, the holy light of the Holy Spirit has appeared and illumined the world. <laughs> Και νύχια αι και στου αιώνα των αιώνων να μην τη του πνεύματο πηγή. Απειδημούσα τη σεργή. Πυρφόρου ποταμού με ριζωμένοι νοητό. Του αποστόλου εδρώσιζε ποτάγου. Τα γιάγουν ενάπτη νεφό δροσόδε το πι. Φωτίζους αυτούς και οι αιτίζους αυτοκς διονύμις ελάβω με την χάρη διαπηρώστε και είδα αυτούς το φως επέστη του παρακλήτου και τον κόσμο νεφό της του τάφου και την προσύψους ουρανού θείαν ανάληψη της θεόπτες τη δόξα σου κατέπεψα συγκτήρμο πνεύμα ευθές εγγενήσας τις μαθητές όθεν ως πεκιθάρα μου σουργική πάσιν ετρατλολόγησας το θείο Πλήκτρο μυστικός σώτε τα πηγήματα και την οικονομία σου. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Whenever and to the ages of ages, amen. After go rising from the sepulchre, O Savior, and your divine ascension to the heights of heaven, you send down on your disciples your glory, O good one, renewing an upright spirit in them, O Christ. And therefore, those men who saw God proclaim to all your sayings and your economy as if, as if melodious guitars that mystically are played with the pick of the Spirit, O merciful Lord. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, o Lord. For blessed is your name and glorified is your kingdom of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. <laughs> You, the haters of Zion, be put to shame by the Lord, for like thatch in fire you will be completely dried up. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. From the Holy Spirit every soul receives life and through cleansing is lifted and brightened in a hidden sacred manner by the trinal monad. From the hook both now and ever and to the ages of ages of men, from the Holy Spirit to the streams of grace well forth, they irrigate everything created so that life be engendered. <laughs> Your good spirit shall guide me in the land of uprightness. <laughs> Lord, have mercy. For you are holy, our God, who rest among the saints, and to you we give glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord our God that we may be made worthy to hear the Holy Gospel. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with all. And with your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. 
let us be attentive. Glory to you, O Lord, glory to you. On the evening of that day, the first day of the week, the doors being shut where the disciples were gathered for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples were glad when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, even so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your great mercy, and according to the abundance of your compassion, blot out my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from my lawlessness, and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my lawlessness and my sin is always before me. Against you only have I sinned and done evil in your sight, that you may be justified in your words and overcome when you are judged. For behold, I was conceived in transgressions, and in sins my mother bore me. Behold, you loved truth. You showed me the unknown and secret things of your wisdom. You shall sprinkle me with hyssop, and I will be cleansed. You shall wash me, and I will be made whiter than snow. You shall make me to hear joy and gladness. My bones that were humbled shall greatly rejoice. Turn your face from my sins and blot out all my transgressions. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and uphold me with your guiding spirit. I will teach transgressors your ways, and the ungodly shall turn back to you. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall greatly rejoice in your righteousness. O Lord, you shall open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For if you desired sacrifice, I would give it. You will not be pleased with whole burnt offerings. A sacrifice to God is a broken spirit. A broken and humbled heart God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, in your good pleasure to Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then you will be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with offerings and whole burnt offerings. Then shall they offer young bulls on your altar. Na loxa patrikeio ta agio pneumati aston apostola prazvia salaimon exalipson da plifi onemone klimato both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. At the intercession of the Theotokos, O Lord of mercy, blot out my many offenses. Eleison me, O Theos, cada to mega eleos, de cada to plithos tonic tirimos, exalipson to anomima. Vasile Furani, Paraclite to Pneumatisa, Lithias, O Pandaku Paron, Teta Panda Pliron, O Thisavros Ton Agathon, Tezois Corigos, Ελθέ και σκήνωσον εν ημίν και καθάρισον ημάς από πάσης κυλίδος και σώσον αγαθέ τα ψυχάσιμο. God, save your people and bless your inheritance. Look upon your world with mercy and compassion. 
raise the Orthodox Christians in glory, and send down upon us your rich mercies, through the intercessions of our most pure Lady, the Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary, by the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, the supplications of the honorable glorious prophet, forerunner, and baptist John, of the holy glorious all praised apostles Peter and Paul, and of all the holy apostles, of our holy fathers among the saints, the great hierarchs and ecumenical teachers, Basil the Great, Gregory the Theologian, and John Chrysostom, Athanasius and Cyril, John the Merciful, Patriarchs of Alexandria, Nicholas of Mira, Spiridon, Bishop of Ethrimethus, and Octavius Pendopolis, the Wonder Workers, of the Holy Glorious Great Martyrs, George the Victorious, Demetrius the Merflowing, Theodore of Tyron, and Theodore the Commander, and Minas the Wonder Worker, of the Higher Martyrs, Caralambos and Lefterius, of the Holy Glorious Victorious Martyrs, the Holy Glorious Great Martyr and all the laudable Lefemia, the Holy Glorious Great Martyrs, Thecla, Brava, Anastasia, Catherine, Kiriaki, Fortini, Marina, Paraskevi, and Irene, of our venerable and God bearing fathers, of the Holy Righteous Ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, of the Holy Sisters of Lazarus, Martha, and Mary, our Holy Father, Mitrofan, Archbishop of Constantinople, St. Petroc, the Abbot, and Sophia of Thrace, whose memories we celebrate this day, and of all the saints. We beseech you, most merciful Lord, hear us sinners who pray to you, and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Through the mercy, compassion, and love for mankind of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all-holy good and life-creating Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. When the Most High God came down and confused the tongues, he divided the nations. When he distributed the tongues of fire, he called all to unity. And with one voice, we glorify the All Holy Spirit. With one voice, we glorify the All Holy Spirit. Speedy and constant consolation give us, your servants, O Jesus, when our spirits become despondent. Do not part from our souls when we are in trouble, nor be far from our minds when we are in peril. But draw near to us, draw near, O you who are everywhere. And as you are always with your apostles, so also unite yourself to us who long for you, the compassionate so that united to you we may extol and glorify your all holy spirit glorify your holy spirit on the fourth of this month we commemorate our father among the saints metrophanes archbishop of constantinople parted o metrophanes from the earth thy mother thou hast removed thither where is our common father? On the fourth, Metrophanes was sent into the earth, the nourisher of men. On this day, we commemorate our righteous mother, Sophia of Thrace, who passed her life in asceticism. The world was no hindrance to thee, O Sophia, for attaining to the perfection of virtue. On this day, the holy righteous martyr John abbot of the monastery of Managria, having been put in a sack and cast into the sea, was perfected in martyrdom. Though the sack should hold him, though the deep conceal him, a heavenly place doth take John and receive him. On this day, our righteous father, Alonius of Skeet in Egypt, reposed in peace. As a tiller of the soul, Alonius doth delight us, bringing to the soul's threshing floor a great heap of blessings. On this day, saints Mary and Martha of Bethany, the sisters of Lazarus, reposed in peace. As Lazarus of Bethany, so his sisters, are not dead, but only sleep, as did their brother. On this day, we commemorate the holy martyr 
Concordias of Spoleto. On this day, we commemorate the holy hieromartyr Quirinus, Bishop of Siscia. On this day, we commemorate the holy martyrs Frontasius, Severinus, Severian, and Silanus of Perigur in Gaul. On this day, we commemorate Saint Zosimus of Cilicia, Bishop of Babylon in Egypt. On this day, we commemorate our righteous father Petrarch of Bodmin in Cornwall, accounting the whole world as but spume and spindrift, Petrarch set sail for the shores of eternal life. On this day, we commemorate our righteous father, Methodius, abbot of Peshnosha, disciple of Saint Sergius of Radonet. On this day, we commemorate our righteous fathers, Eleazar and Nazarius of Olonets. On this day, we commemorate the holy new hierarch martyrs, Andronicus, Archbishop of Perm, Theophanes, Bishop of Solicum, Basil, Archbishop of Chernigov, and those martyred with them by the atheists in the year 1918. On this day, the eighth Sunday from Pascha, we celebrate Holy Pentecost. In a violent wind, Christ distributes to the apostles the Spirit in tongues of fire. On one great day, the Spirit is poured out on the fishermen. By the intercessions of the holy apostles, O Christ our God, have mercy on us. Amen. where God was obtaining divine inscriptions he promulgated God's law for, for cleansing his mind's eye he saw the one, only one who is and was given knowledge of the Holy Spirit whom he honored with inspired songs of praise Εξύψους δύναμη της μαθητές Χριστέ έως αντισεστέφης πάθησατε αν η Ιερουσαλήμ εγώ Is Hannah shattered fetters on her womb that made her barren, ending the irritation of her fruitful rival's needling, for she brought a broken heart and spirit to the omniscient God and only sovereign. Πεσχάτο σου Χριστέ, έλεψη ανεβώσει την σύσταχη κοκκύριε αντιναστίαν ότι πάντα στου σώσε του Χριστού ελίθα. Only logos begotten of the only 
one cause, Father, as benefactor, to your apostles you send out your unerring, holy, consubstantial, equipotent spirit. Evermore we sing glory to your might, O Lord. Experiencing, experience the fire breathing dew of the Spirit, forgiving and purging your sins and offenses. All ye children of the Church who are illumined, the grace of the Holy Spirit as tongues of fire has gone forth today as a new law from Zion. Adam and the entire human race that was fallen like prophet Jonah out of the maw of the sea beast. You, a master, shone forth, O Christ our God, from the immaculate ever virgin as expiation and salvation. Instruments were played discordantly demanding. Everyone fall down before the gold lifeless image, rousing the faithful now to sing with reverence. You are blessed, equipotent on originate trinity as the luminous grace of the Spirit. and we bless and we worship the Lord 
emblematic of the triluminous Godhead, releasing bonds and dampening flames of old. Those servants extolled the Lord and invited all created nature to bless and to exalt beyond measure. The only omnipotent Savior as benefactor. Oh. Let us honor magnifying song the Theotokos and the mother of light. Mit is the last You lent your flesh to the locals to whom all things were made. Therefore we magnify you, Virgin Theotokos, Mother of who knew no man, space and holder of your Maker, who is uncontainable and infinite. <laughs> Happy from lads on the spine, spirit of our matos, Ozilotis Jeperipnus, Geron of Humanos, Tinine Clubs, a side pipni and a dilu, Exipsius Apostolus, if his catalipendes, in triada. Glory to you, our God, glory to you. Something unnatural and uncommon was heard today. For by the grace of the Spirit, the voice of each disciple spoke. A variety of languages, and therefore the people's tongues and races heard the mighty works of God and learned about the Holy Trinity. Theotokos rejoice, Queen of all and the glory of mothers and virgins. There is no eloquence, there is no hymn, no poetry that can worthily honor you. And when we think about your childbirth, Every mind is dazed, therefore we all glorify you. Again, Patricia, you are your pneumati, in an egyptian, tipfisis, both now and ever and to the ages of ages.
ages. Amen. Let us glorify the triluminous essence as being wise, indivisible, equipotent, the Godhead from which we have received the divine breath of dazzling grace that flows therefrom and that has made us resplendent through our mystical transformation. and virgins, there is no eloquence, there is no hymn, no poetry that can worthily honor you. And we, when we think about your childbirth, every mind is dazed, therefore we all glorify you. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever most Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, o Lord. Powers of heaven, praise you, and to you offer up glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, into the ages of ages. Amen. O Panagi of Nema, to proeon ectu patros, chariu ectimisan, it's a grammatis. To set the honor of so so Sanctify all who acknowledge you to be God and save us. Also, Pati for so long, Osketo Agi of Nema, Offer and Glosses Pirines, His Apostolis, the Petri. And the Aptupas of Cosmos, Potavoyite, Triada, Sebin, Ayan, Ingavon, Asa, No. 
is fitting to sing a hymn to you. Επίτες δυναστείες αυτού ενήτη αυτών κατά το πλήκτος της μεγάλος σύνης αυτού αλλοξα σήμερον είδον τα έθνη πάντα ερχόλοι δαβή ότι εν το πνεύμα κατήθεν το Άγιον αλπυρήνες γλώσσες καθώς ο Θεϊγόρος Λουκάς απεφθέξαν το φυσίγαν συνδυγμένων των μαθητών του Χριστού έγινε το οίκος κατάπερ πέρα βιαίας πνοής και πλήρωσε τον οίκον ουρίσαν καθήμενοι και πάντες ήξαν το φθένιεστε ξένης ρήμασι, ξένης δόγμασι, ξένης διδάγμασι της Αγίας Τριάδος. Praise Him with the sound of trumpet, Praise Him with the harp and lyre. Today, all the nations in the city of David saw paradoxical things when the Holy Spirit descended in fiery tongues according to the utterance of Luke the theologian. For he said, when the disciples of Christ were gathered together, a sound came like the rush of a mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And they all began to speak with strange words, strange dogmas, strange teachings of the Holy Trinity. Ανήτε αυτόν εν την πάνω και χωρό, ανήτε αυτόν αν φορδές και ουράνον, το πνεύμα το Άγιον ειν με αΐ, Κέστηκεστε ούτε αξάμενον, ούτε παυσόμενον, αλλά η Πατρίκαιο συντενταγμένον και συναριθμούμενον ζωή και ζωπίου, φως και φωτός χορηγών, αυτά αγαθών και φυγή αγαθότητος διού πατήρ γνωρίζετε και ιοδοξάζετε και παραπάντων γινώσκετε μία δύναμης μία σύνταξης μία προσκύνησης της Αγίας Τριάδος. Praise Him with resounding symbols, praise Him with triumphant symbols. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. The Holy Spirit is light and life and a living noetic fount. Spirit of wisdom, spirit of understanding, good upright, noic ruling, purging offenses, God and deifying, he is fire issuing from fire, uttering, inciting, distributing the gifts of grace. Please, please rise. 
Ecclesiastes, the Lord of the Theos, the Otirios, the Georgios, the Snornum, the Patros, the Tuyuk, the Yupnevma, the Samin, the Servant of God, the Otirios, the Georgios, the Church, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the middle of the temple, O Lord, I shall praise you. Ecclesiastes, the Lord of the Theos, the Otirios, the Georgios, the Snornum, the Patros, the Tuyuk, the Yupnevma, the Samin. I shall enter into your holy temple, O Lord, and worship one divinity, worship in three persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. The servant of God, Sotirios, Georgios, is churched in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Ecclesiastes, O Dulus Tetheus, Sotirios, Georgios, is the honor of the Patros, and to you, and to you, Pneumatos. Amen. I shall enter your holy temple, O Lord, and worship one divinity worshiped in three persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, now let your servant depart in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared before the face of all people, a light to enlighten the Gentiles and the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to Christ, our God, and I hope glory to you. May Christ, our true God, who accepted to be carried in the arms of the righteous Simeon on the 40th day, for our salvation, have mercy on us and save us through the prayers of his most holy and pure mother, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, the supplications of the holy glorious prophet and foreigner John the Baptist, the holy glorious apostles, the holy God-bearing fathers, the holy victorious martyrs, the holy righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, through the prayers of our holy fathers, through the Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Sicaritiria, George. <laughs> Prohore. Thanks, for Congratulations. Congratulations, girls. <laughs> Lord, blood, Lamb of God, 
Son of the Father, who take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us, you who take away the sins of the world. To the glory of God the Father, Amen. God, the cast in the mer and the blood in so set, and as a donoma, so is a neona, and is a neona to eo. Most faithful Lord. This day that we be kept without sin. Set our hope on you. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statue. From generation to generation, I said, Lord, have mercy on me, O my soul, for I have sinned against you. <laughs> fountain of life in your light we shall see light Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Holy immortal, have mercy on us.
Τον Ήκος εδώ 